hello guys welcome back in this video tutorial we will learn how we can add file upload component inside the form and we will see how we can prevent the form from submitting if user has not selected any of the file and also we will see how we can prevent the form from submitted if the file side exceeded our limits right and ultimately we will allow the form if the file is selected and it is within the file size limits right to see how we can achieve that let's get started i have an empty react.js project that is using and design and right now it's showing nothing so let's go ahead and import the form as well as the upload component from and design and start using it so it will be a form and inside that we can add a form dot item for the upload component and inside that we can add a upload component and show a button we can say upload profile picture right and here we can give it a label of maybe you can say profile picture and give it a name of profile picture right and if i save it here you go it has added uh, a form with one item profile picture and we can upload our profile picture using it here so i can select any of the file here right so we can add a submit button here so for that we can say it's a button and the text is submit and give it a type of primary and html type is submit right and if i save it maybe i can make it a block so that it's cover the whole space right and once this button will be clicked uh, it, it will call uh, the on finish uh, if the all of the uh, required fields are filled right so we can say on finish will give us the values and here we can just console it right so we can say the values right save it and if i go to the inspect and go to the console and if i submit here you go it giving us the values profile picture and it gives whatever is inside that right so there is a file and uh, also the file list right okay so if i now refresh and just uh, start the submit so it's still going uh, to the on finish and giving us the values right so how we want to prevent uh, the form to from submitting uh, before i upload any picture so for that we can add some rules on the form that item so i have a separate video on how to add different type of validations or rules on the form items i will add that video uh, link in the i button as well as in the description below so that you can take a look so it will be an array of rules so here we can say the required is true and if the user has not selected any file we can say please upload your profile picture right and if i save it and just refresh now and if i submit now it says that please upload your upload your profile picture right and if i upload it and now if i submit then it goes uh, to the on finish and shows us the values right so this is how we can prevent the form from submitting uh, before i set any up file for uploading right so there are other options or you can say the use cases as well uh, where you, we want to check the uh, file maybe we want to check the file size if it is certain file size then we want to allow otherwise we are, uh, we will reject uh, the file and we will reject uh, the form from submitting right so for that we can add the before upload right i have a separate video on covering the upload uh, component in details uh, where i covered how to prevent certain type of files like only pngs are allowed or only you can say certain file sizes are allowed and things like that i will add its link as well in the description below so that you can take a look so here it will be giving us the file and, and here we can return the promise we can say the promise and it will give us the resolve as well as the reject and here we can check if the 
file dot size is maybe greater than 2 MB well, we are just making behavior here so you, you might be checking it is 20 MB or 2 MB something so we are just saying that if it is greater than 2 then we will be rejecting it and giving us the reason that we can say the file size exceeded right otherwise we can just resolve it and we can say it's a success right so if i save it now and select any of this, these files so it's now uh, rejecting it it is not trying to upload it right so here we can even uh, say some error messages so we can say message again from the end design we can say the error and give the same text here as well so copy it and paste it here so now if i refresh and just select any of these files so it says that file size exceeded right so we are providing uh, the error here right and uh, still if i uh, uh, submit it gives us the values right uh, because we have not added any rule for uh, this validation it is just the file upload component that is rejecting that file so we can add the rule here as well so we can this time we can add a validator the custom validator it will be providing us the rules as well as the the value and in our case the value is the file list right so it will give us uh, the all of the files we have and here we can again return the you can say the same promise and here we can say the file list of maybe uh, we can check uh, the single file at time or we can just loop over of on all of these files and we can check their sizes and if the file sizes of all of these are within the limit we can uh, ultimately uh, either resolve it or reject it right so for the simplicity i'm just allowing we can say the single atom so we can say the max count is one so only one atom will be allowed to upload and we will check in the first uh, item here right so here we can uh, reject it we can just get rid of this error message here uh, and we can say files are exceeded reject and otherwise it is a success right so if i save it and just refresh and if i upload any of the item so it says files are exceeded but here it is giving us the error that uh, cannot read properties of undefined editing the uh, size uh, that is because it, the validator does not know uh, what is the value because in our case the value is the file list so we have to tell the form datum so what is the prop for the value so we can say that value prop name is the file list and also uh, we need to tell that how to extract the value so we can say that get value from the event and we can say it's the event and we can return the event dot uh, the file list right we can just make that optional so that if somehow the file is not is empty so we can return that undefined right okay so if i refresh and select any of these file so it says file succeeded and giving us the error here as well right so here what we did is we are uh, actually giving the form datum providing the props name uh, inst uh, that can consider as a value right so because uh, the upload component the value is the file list and it on change it, it also gives us the file uh, file list right so it is a con similar concept uh, which we covered in other videos as well like uh, while we are showing the switch and the value or the the value prop is the checked inside of the value so we provide the uh, here uh, for in case of switch that the value prop name is checked right so here in, in case of the upload we are saying that the value prop name is the file list right okay so if i just refresh and we can just uh, 
uh, do the submit right away so it's again giving us the error that we cannot read the file list so here we can add another condition like if the file list exists and then we can check the uh, file size and then if the refresh go to the submit so it says that it's first we need to upload the uh, file so this rule is executing right and if i select any of these files and then it says that file side is succeeding and also giving us the error right so if we comment out this one uh this will, it will not show uh the error in the message it will just show the error here right and if i change this value to maybe we can say twenty thousand and also we can say twenty thousand hopefully the file size will be less than that so if i save it still it is greater than that let's make it a little larger save it just refresh and select the file still we are not in the limit so maybe we can make it it's 90 and also here we can make it 90 okay let's see what it does now if i change the file to this one so now we are uh, in the limits and it tries to upload the file right and if i need now submit it it will give us the values right so right now as soon as i select the file it tries to submit it if we want to prevent that uh, we can say a custom request is equal to uh, the information it is giving us right so here we can only uh, so instead of submitting it will be calling this function so we can upload our file here if needed i have a separate video on how to upload the files inside the custom request i will add its link in the description below as well so that you can take a look and the other ways we can add uh, the action and we can provide the the url here so on which we want to upload right so this way this is uh, if we provide the action so this will upload the file right away also if we provide the custom request it will also upload the file uh, right away right and if we want that the file should not be uploaded it will be kept here and uh, if i submit it will give us the value here and then we will be uploading uh, later on based on our other values as well like instead of this form item we have other form data items as well like we have some we can say the first name last name and email and then the profile picture as well as well so we will be getting all of those values uh, inside the file inside the, this on finish like so we can see if that if we have the other items as, as well we can say it's an input so it is a uh, maybe we can say full name right and name is equal to full name right so if i save it and here you go so it has added the, the full name as well right and now if i submit so it gives the what is the full name and uh, then the profile picture right so if i add anything here and then submit it will give us the full name as well as the profile picture so we can ultimately get in the values here and we can upload or we can make an ap calls accordingly then uh, we can push the full name as well as the profile picture uh, to our server right so this is how we can add multiple form dot items inside the form that include the upload picture as well right and uh, we can add a rule to prevent the form from submitting if it if user has not uploaded any file and we can add a custom validator as well uh, based on the file size and here we can uh, loop over all of the, our files or we can add any of our logic we can say only the png file is uh, allowed or we can say only this file name is allowed and things like that right so it's up to us whatever we do here so after our logic we are we will be either resolving the promise or we will be rejecting it right and now if i uh, upload any of these files 
so it will show like this way right so if we want that we do not uh, want to be shown here because we were we will be uploading the file eventually here so here we can say that show upload file list is false and instead we will be uh, getting the file list here so we can add that inside our state we can say use state and it will give us the file list and by default it will be empty and and here we can say set file list to be the info dot file right and here we can just say that the file list of zero dot name right we can just make it a conditional right and if i save it just refresh and upload any of these file so it will say that this is the file that the user is uh, about to upload right and if i submit so it will give us the values here because i have selected the file right here you go and if i refresh and without choosing a file it says the file upload is required and we, i can uh, give the name here and select any of the file both of these uh, values are there and i can submit here right all right so that's it on exploring the upload component within the scope of the form so we have covered how we can add a upload component inside the form how we can prevent the user from submitting before uh, user has uploaded a picture and also we have seen that how we can prevent the form from submitting if uh, the uploaded profile picture does not follow a certain criteria right but still if you have any question please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you